Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Minister Nokawe Mafu. Program Director, the Deputy Minister Nokawe, Deputy Minister Makweta, the heads of public entities that are present here, the chairpersons and CEOs, our CEO of the Freedom Park, who I must say has looked after this place quite very well, the acting DG and other officials, the representatives of various sectors and subsectors. I extend my warmest greetings to you all, fellow South Africans, because we are gathered here today to mark the official commencement of Freedom Month, a month in which we celebrate the journey we have traveled together as a nation from that important foothold that 1994 provided us. This marks the culmination of our collective effort to bring our new order. Along the way, many of our patriots perished. We'll cite a few about all those who perished. Today marks exactly 44 years since the hanging of that brave patriot Solomon Kalushimatlangu, only a few meters from here. In four days from today, we'll also be marking the 30th anniversary of the brutal murder of Martin Tembi Siri Krisani Oshonyan. Also this month, we'll be laying to rest the mortal remains of Ms. Kolega Tunyi Swashabani on the 22nd of April 2023 in Kabeha known as Port Elizabeth in the past. Ms. Shabani is among the, the nurses that were recruited by President Owar Tambo following the request by President Julius Nyerere of Tanzania and then to help with the health sector following the departure of British nurses who said they could not work under the African-led government. This morning, <clears throat> I had uh, a privilege to meet with the President of the Republic to discuss a number of issues. And one issue that we discussed for a very long time this morning was the, how we celebrate National Days, how we make National Days inclusive to enhance social cohesion and nation building. I am pleased to see in this room a very diverse group of people representing the diversity of our nation, which our diversity is our strength. I'm very happy to see cultural groups present. I'm very, see, I'm very happy to see sporting fraternity present. One of the issues that the President of the Republic emphasized is that perhaps the way we have been celebrating National Days we have not reached out to other national groups. And therefore, as we proceed to Matosana in the Northwest for the 27th of April Freedom Day celebrations, the celebrations must not be about a day itself. It must, as, it, as we call it, Freedom Month celebrations. And therefore, today marks the beginning of those celebrations. I'm happy to see and to hear that there are officials from the government of Northwest, because we do expect them to organize these celebrations, not only on the 27th, but starting from today. To make the 27th of April and the Freedom Month celebration a more inclusive. We just had a successful celebration of Human Rights Day in DR. It was after the longest time that we have seen almost all South African groups, race, color, and creed participating in the celebration. The reason is, preceding the event, we recognize that people have cultural beliefs, religious beliefs, and therefore they were organized on the basis that we all belong, we all belong to South Africa. Hence, they came in numbers in DR. We need to carry this aspiration. All South Africans 
must belong to South Africa and believe they are South Africans. Therefore, the celebration of national days must enhance the notion of social cohesion and nation building. This year, we gather under the theme consolidating and sustaining our democratic gains. We consolidate uh, con democratic gains because we believe since 1994 a lot has been done to change not only the national heritage landscape of the country, but we have changed this country for the better. This we must say, notwithstanding the missteps that were committed along the way. We must speak fondly and frankly about missteps because we must not hide difficulties and challenges to our people. There is therefore a reason to celebrate because the great strides have been made since 1994 and while it will be impossible to enumerate all of them, I think it will be important nonetheless that we foreground some of the most notable ones. We cannot say we are free if most of our people are denied the most basic, the basic of services necessary in improving their general quality of life. The latest stats SA, South, SA South Household Survey 2021, which is a regular survey that gives an empirical account of improvement or otherwise in terms of general standards of living in households across the country, paints a picture of improvement much stark contrast in 2002, let alone the state of play at the dawn of freedom and democracy in 1994. In South Africa today, there are also more households that have access to clean water, electricity, and so on. As we enumerate these challenges, like a point I made earlier, we must equally speak frankly about the challenges we face. We must speak frankly about the missteps we committed along the way. And as we do so, we must be inspired by the words of the late president of the African National Congress, Owar Tambo, when he said, Comrades, you are right, it is difficult to wage a liberal struggle Wait until you are in power. I might be dead by then. At that stage, you will realize that it is actually more difficult to keep power than wage a liberation war. People will be expecting a lot from services, from yourselves. You will have to satisfy the various demands of masses of your people. In the process, be prepared, be prepared to learn from other people's liberation and revolutions. You must be ready even to learn from the enemy. These are the words of President Owar Tambo. We gather here today to honor our late president, the icon President Nelson Mandela. It was him who envisaged this historic and iconic Freedom Park. There are a number of build-up activities throughout the month leading to the main event in Matlosana. We will therefore invite all South Africans, people of creed, people of color, people of different religion, to celebrate some of these achievements. But as we do so, we must not hide the difficulties we face. The difficulties we face today require of all of us as South Africans to work together we hear some of the voices today continue to remind us that it was better under apartheid. Notwithstanding these challenges, we must never reminisce the past. We must never idolize the past, which denied many of us of our, our human dignity and the right. And therefore, Let's confront our challenges and accept our weaknesses and continue to build a country of our generation, of our fathers, our, which was described by our forebears, a non-racial, non-sexist, democratic and prosperous country. Like 
President Owar Tambo said, we might think it was difficult to wage a struggle of liberation, but the most difficult struggle is when you're in power, when people demand new services of various demands. This requires a leadership that is steeped among the people, a leadership that appreciates and exists, that lives among the people, like our CEO of Freedom Park has said. It is therefore an opportunity as we celebrate Freedom Month, a moment of reflection. We must reflect of the progress we have traversed. At the same time, we must reflect on the weaknesses we have committed. We must reflect on the missteps we committed. We committed the mistakes because we were committed to build better life for all our people. As we live here today, until the end of the month, we shall continue to celebrate the life of President Nelson Mandela beyond this month, beyond July, but also as an anchor and a hope of our people since 1994. That in spite of our difficulties we face as a people, he remains a pillar of hope. With all the difficulties we face as a nation and our resilience, our icon and the, and the first president of the republic, remains a hope to many of us. Let's go out in our, our numbers to go out in Motlosana local municipality in Klerksdorp, in our small places as stakeholders, celebrate this achievement, but continue to define and draw from the lessons of those who came before us, for us to proceed and build a better country for our generation. And accept that only that country that is defined in the preamble of the Constitution of the Republic, that all South Africa belongs to all who live in it, both black and white. Until that aspiration is achieved, we dare not fail, in spite of the difficulties. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The Freedom Month is therefore declared, as a, uh, Freedom Month celebrations are therefore declared from today until the 27th of April, when we meet at Clare Stop, Matlasana Municipality. Thank you very much.